Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now we have a special treat for today. What world's strongest man 2020? We're in Braid Bradenton in Florida. We're at the back of the IMG Academy. Uh, obviously, because of the current situation, we're not able to do it on a beach or a public place. So it's a very closed circuit. We've all been in a bubble for about two weeks. So nobody's allowed in and out the hotel. Everyone's having testing every day to make sure no nobody's got any any illnesses so the finalists are we've got joey pritchett luke richardson adam bishop graham hicks tom stoltman brian shaw avr's jeff caron novakoff and kevin ferris so i'm just gonna do a little bit of a prediction here the events we have we've got um a giant medley which is basically an anvil and a yoke we've got max deadlift from 18 inch i think they're going for a world record we've got keg toss we've got a log ladder a truck pull and then atlas stone so we've got six events in total we've got three today three tomorrow but luckily just for you we're going to roll all this into one special video so with all the athletes we have here and the events i honestly think that brian shaw should win this year's world's strongest man it's basically his to lose um who's going to come and put pressure on him is a good question i believe that the young pups Novikov is an absolute animal. I think he could do some real damage with all the events here. Um, Luke Richardson should do well. Tom Stoltman, of course, really good events for him. Um, I'm going to go for JF Caron as an upset. I think JF Caron's looking on fire this year. He's looking really strong. He's worked hard in silence. He's done no competing for a year, so he should do really well. You can see the guys are warming up now. We're getting ready for the, work, the first event, which is the Giants medley. So we're going to get stuck straight into the action. And uh, here we go. Right, we've just had the rules meeting. So you have to do an anvil round one side of the yoke. So they're only allowed around the, yoke, the left of the yoke. Anvil onto the tyre. Then they must come round the yoke. Not allowed to step through the bikes. Into the front, pick it up. Across the line, front of the yoke. Across the line. So... The Giants medley, first event, here we go. Come on, Brian! 
Oh. Right, and we're with Mr. Adam Bishop, who just smashed the Giants medley, 22.5. Yeah, yeah. And then Novikov has just found 23. Yes, sir. Right, so I actually got you to win that in the pre-interview, so thank you for backing me up there. Yeah, mate, got you yeah. back, man. I know you've got <laughs> fast feet in this event. Next up, the deadlift. I actually think this is going to be a really good event for you as well, the 18-inch. Yeah. What partial, sort of numbers are you pulling? Partial deadlifts are good for me. Uh, obviously, I pulled... Uh, 550, sorry, 545 in the gym on a silver dollar. Wow. Uh, but we'll see. It's a bit of a different setup, but yeah, I do like a partial deadlift. So 545 would smash the world record out of the water. Yeah. It? The world record as of now stands with Tom McGee at 535. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Back in 1983, the cheese deadlift, one of the, my favourite events. So uh, good luck in the deadlift. Well, well done. Eddie. Thanks, mate. Right. That was a phenomenal performance by Bish. To be honest. I had him up there, but I didn't think he would win it. Absolutely amazing. Second place, Novikov. Third was Jerry Pritchett. That is absolutely amazing. Pritchett has been working hard on his mobility. Fourth place, Kevin Fares. Fifth, Tom Stoltman. He did trip up with the, with the anvil. I feel as though he would have won that event. Sixth was Jeff Caron. And then seventh place is Brian Shaw. 27.03. So, there's only four seconds between him, or well, five seconds between him in first place. That's how tight it was. Up next is the max deadlift from 18 inch. Now, the world record by Tom McGee was actually 535 kilos, set back in 1983. So these guys are gonna go for that world record today. And you know what? The best deadlifters are gonna go very close to that number, if not above it. Adam Bishop being one of them, Jerry Pritchett, Brian Shaw, Jeff Caron and Tom Stoltman, I think all those guys could pull some really, really big numbers. So I don't want to call this one at all, but I, de I definitely think the world record is going to go down. 535 by Tom McGee. What are we going to see today? Pretty exciting. Down. Good luck.
down. Uh, that was fun to watch. Novikov smashing the world record from 1983. Tom McGee's 535 kilo doing 537. And I've got to be honest, he made that look very, very easy. Novikov seems to have some good, good genetics there, some good body composition, good levers, fantastic result. So he won that. Bishop, Caron, Cherry Pritchett tied second, so they share eight points each. And uh, oh. It's very complicated because a lot of people tied on that. So, Brian Shaw tied fifth alongside Tom Stoltman. In the lead is Novikov with 19 points. Second place with Bishop, 18. Third place is Pritchett in 16. And then fourth is JF Caron with 13 points. Brian Shaw is way, way, way back with nine and a half points. I think he's in seventh place eighth place he's in seventh place so brian shaw's not doing not doing too good here good events for brian to come so he can redeem himself adam bishop's also got some really good events to come the the keg toss and the log and the hercules hold so he could still redeem himself as well so uh let's catch a quick word novikov but the next event is the keg toss right i'm here with the champ novikov 537 kilos you made it look easy could you have done more yes if it's needed yes of course. It's like the Terminator, isn't he? I've got to say, mate, the beard is absolutely looking fantastic as well. <laughs> Thank you, mate. <laughs> so a second or first. Next event, keg toss, feeling good? Uh, if I uh, not uh, um, do a mistake, feeling good, yes. I have a power for do all uh, yeah. uh, keg, kegs, but uh, maybe some problem with uh, uh, road. Yeah, getting the yeah. Tra trajectory yeah. right. Well, good luck, buddy. Yeah. I'm actually... Thank you. Much. I want to show something here because Novikov, uh, we were talking about levers and how Novikov has got almost the perfect body for deadlifting because he's got like, he's not the torso guys, I'm not going to say a short torso because he's not short, but the shorter torso and then the arm length, put your arms down by your side, so shoulder to shoulder, pretty much, yeah, shoulder joint, shoulder joint, shoulder joint, there, there, look at that, same arm length. So he's got the he's got that extra arm length to sort of give him the, the like the it reduces the travel. So he's almost built perfectly for deadlifts. Standard bar, standard deadlift. You think you could do more than 500 kilo one day? Because I think you can. Uh, if I uh, do uh, 480, yes, yeah. yes. But uh, I don't walk, uh, don't uh, want tell um, without. Uh, my uh, poss possible yeah. Yeah. you're 23 years of, of age uh, 24 24 yes it's amazing it's absolutely amazing you've got literally you could be one of the youngest persons ever to win the world series i wish you all the best i hope i Thank wish you much. i wish as well. good luck right it's here it's all set up ready to go the keg toss eight kegs over a 15 foot height fastest time to get all eight or as many as they can, so seven quickest time or eight quickest time. But if you do eight, that beats any time on seven. So 
prediction for this, Brian Shaw should smash this out of the park. It's uh, anyone's to come second and third and fourth, really. Jeff Caron should do really well. Bishop should do really well. So th those are my top three for this. Yeah. With eight kegs and 27.82 seconds from Great Britain, Luke Richardson. With eight kegs and 21.75 seconds, give it up for USA's Brian Shaw! With eight kegs and 20.05 seconds from Great Britain, Tom Stoltman! Ready? With eight kegs and 20.31 seconds from Canada, JF Carroll! Ready? Yep. With eight kegs and 39.9 seconds from Great Britain, Adam Fisher! With eight kegs and 26.96 seconds from Ukraine, Alexei Novikov. Well, and with Big Tom now, he won that with 20.05. Yeah, that was good. It was absolutely phenomenal. And from what I've just heard, you haven't even been, been practicing at all, have you? So. And I've just but, been, so sorry, I've been just checking a Cerberus sandbag out in there. So. <laughs> You're doing sandbags instead yeah. of the kegs. <laughs> the Scottish always seem to be really good at anything that's like weight for height, anything like that. So it's, it's sort of in the genes anyway. Yeah, I mean, I should be good at that event as well with my levers. So, you know, and uh, yeah. once I get that distance in there, I'm kind of like 10, 11 foot in there anyway. So exactly. I, should be, I should be winning. First of all, we tripped up with the anvil. I think that cost you the win, to be honest. You were doing, you were flying absolutely flying i think you would have won that then so what happened there was it nerves yeah or? i mean i think it was just getting a true head of myself you know like yeah. last year i picked that up easy you know but i think it was just getting like you know a bit nervous and stuff but then the yoke and i've been practicing that hard so yeah. i'm annoyed because that yoke flew so it did uh, mate it did it's massive improvement from last yeah. year 
next event being the comfy? Yeah, I mean, it's log, Hurtleys and Stone, but like I said, I'm just going to do one event at a time. You know, I've been hitting the log ladder hard as well, so uh, my pressing's gone up there as well. And then Hurtleys, I've been doing some good grip training as well, and then Stones is obviously, hopefully I should win Keeping that in the Stones. Stones. <laughs> wow, well, yeah, that, that's a big advantage of the Stones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Tom, you're doing absolutely amazing, mate. Thank you, man. Good luck, you. Right then, guys, that wraps up the keg toss. Tom Stockman in first, GF Caron in second, and Brian Shaw in third. Um, it's the, the points are right there and thereabouts now. So that's the end of day one with the world's strongest man. But we're not going to cut the video, we're going to carry on into tomorrow, a brand new day. Tomorrow, I said truck pull at the start of the video, it's not truck pull, it is Hercules Hold log ladder and atlas stone so there's still three events to go so this is still absolutely anyone's brian shaw's redeemed himself a little bit but still not enough to be right out there in contention but brian shaw has got some really good events coming the hercules hold he's literally got one of the best grips in the world the log ladder he's got a fantastic log you know he can press 210 kilo above his head but is he fast enough to get those log ladders done above the other guys uh, and then the Atlas Stones, of course, Tom is the king of the Atlas Stones. No one's going to beat Tom, so uh, it's exciting. I think Tom could do really well. Tom could definitely still make the podium. He's got some really good events coming up. So, next event is, I'm going to say the Hercules All is going to be first thing tomorrow morning. But if I'm wrong, I'll make that adjustment in the morning, but I'll see you then. Focus, bitch. They get her here, bitch. I bet you want it. 20 seconds. Come on. Reach in, bitch. The time of 28.4 seconds. Give it up for Great Britain's Adam Fisher. Yes, sir.
baby. I'm on JF. There it is. There it is. Come on. Come on. 20 more seconds, JF. Come on, JF. Right, day two, event one done, the Hercules Hall. Jay off, smashed that out the park. You had to beat 49 seconds by Kevin Fares. Luckily, you went out quite late in the competition, so you knew exactly what you had to do. Could you have done more? Yes, I have placed for maybe seven, eight seconds more if I really need to fight wow. until uh, one minute. But I know Tom is not his best event. Yeah. I have the advantage to go second to last. Then not start to open again I was you, really really you look solid right to the end you just literally you heard the 50 seconds and then yeah, you, you sort you know, of gave up because you knew you'd won it I, I hit 50 seconds each week before more song has been with okay. my setup at home which it, is harder it's harder than yeah, this yeah. two events to go log ladder and then the atlas stones now novikov you, you're joint first now 32 points of novikov yeah i think pritchett is five points behind so i think it's a clear first second here yeah. two events i know novikov is an absolute animal what? Are we going to be the first Canadian to win the world's strongest man? It's my goal since a long time. <laughs> so how's the log press going to go? Oh, uh, log press, you know, I train log a lot. My log is, uh, isn't, it good? I'm in good shape for log now. Uh, no injuries. Uh, I think it's not just about pure power. It will be about speed also. Yeah. Then I just want to do no mistakes and uh, get the maximum point for that yeah. event. Too. And you are a fantastic stone lifter, so that, 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 that's anyone between you and Novikov. I believe Novikov isn't as good as you on stones. Yeah, you know, but here, it depends. If we compete in Big Sun yeah. on stones, it's different. Change, you know, it changes you know. it completely, doesn't it? You know, and my grip from ground is really good, then I'm confident. Okay. Well, good luck, yeah. buddy. Thank you, Eddie. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right, that is day, well, day two, event one wrapped up. Hercules hold second place was Kevin Fares, third was Jerry Pritchett. Tom didn't do very good on that, so um, Bishop didn't do very good on that either. I think Bishop is in fourth place and Tom Saltman's in fifth. So Tom's got a lot of work to do to get catch up to that third place. I think he's five points behind Pritchett, so the top three um, is between Jeff Caron, Novikov. Jerry Pritchett and Adam Bishop at the minute. Tom's got a lot of work to do to catch up on that. Of course, he is king of the stones, so that could be where he could snatch that third place back. But I think the first one and two is definitely going to be uh, Novikov and GF Karan. I'm excited. Next event is the log ladder. I think they're doing something ridiculous, like four or five logs up to 180 or maybe 200 kilos. So, I'm going to get some grub and we'll see you back very shortly. Right, next event, the log ladder starting 130 kilos. 140, 150, 160, and then going right up to 182 kilos for the last log. So five logs in total. That's a big ask, you know? And you gotta remember that these guys have done, in total now, I think 11 events. So this is their 12th event. Uh, they're gonna be tired, they're sore, they've had no rest time. This could be anyone's. Um, someone like Novikov is just so, so fast, but as he got the strength to do all, all five logs, uh, that's the secret, someone like Brian here, you know, benching 210 kilo above his head, but can you do that sort of weight after doing four logs already? So this is a big test for the guys, they're all tired, they're all dehydrated, they're all worn out and miffed off about all the circumstances, so uh, the pressure is building up. My guess for this, honestly, it's the sort of who's got the fastest feet, someone like Novikov could actually smash this out of the park, but has he got the strength to do it? We'll see. Still JF and Novikov. 
first and second, Pritchett in third, and all three of those are great log presses. So this is uh, it's going to be exciting. On the whistle. Oh. Oh, Tom. Come on.
Right, log press Don Novikov did good enough there to get the lead by four points going into the last event, the Atlas Stones. All you've got to do, I think, because I know Tom Salton is going to win the Atlas Stones, all you've got to do is come top six in the Atlas Stones and you are the new Will Strongest Man 2020. Top six, achievable, I'm pretty sure it is. Yes. So uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very good and I hope I uh, can better results than six, top six, maybe mm, second or third. Second, third, and, yeah. Uh, yes, and, uh, uh, win competition is a uh, good result, better result than the all, the all scene can see yeah. about me. Well, awesome, man. Well, yeah. it hasn't happened yet, but um, I'll eat my words, but Will Strongest Man 2020 stood right here. Good job, buddy, and good luck in the last event. Keep your cool. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Sure. Right, the Atlas Stones are getting set up right now. The athletes are getting the tacky on, getting ready. Here are the trophies. First, second and third place. Listen, this in admi admiration there. These are pretty cool. They are actually really cool. They are that big. You literally have to have them shipped home because you know, there's no way of getting that on the airplane. Day is the day where you officially lose the title. I think it's actually rigged. Uh, I think it's cheating. I'm not conceding my title. I think we, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to sue uh, everybody responsible for thinking that the title should be passed on to I, Novikov. I, 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 I'll bear witness to all this. Yeah. If you remember last year, you asked me, when does it kick in? We're having yeah. a bit of a conversation. When does it kick in when you're like, you win the title? And you asked me the question, when does it kick in when you realize, when does it sink in when you sort of know you won the world's strongest, you've been the world's strongest man? And I answered you. Remember what I answered you with? I said, when you lose it. Yeah. <laughs> so today's the day. Today's the day, man. Today's oh, the day where shit. it sort of sinks in that you were the world's strongest man, you had it. It's the day you lose it, it's like, damn, I want it back. So uh, we'll perhaps go over an interview with Ulysses straight after the win has been. As but, I'm uh, crying. As you're crying, yeah. <laughs> did you um, did you envision Novikov smashing, doing as good as he's I done thought today? he would smash it, but not to this. It's, wow. It's ridiculous. Wow. Isn't it? So young. That came out of nowhere. It did. Yeah. Is he going to be the youngest to win? I don't think so. I think Marius won it at 23. Holy don't shit. quote me on that. Okay. He's 24. Novikov's 24. Wow. So that is so have, young. Do a bit of research, but he could be the youngest person ever to win the World Strongest Man, which is incredible. That is incredible. It's incredible. That well, is, it's also his first final. My first World Strongest Man was when I was 24. Where was yours? I think I was 25. 25. See, that was your first one. Yeah. This, this guy's potentially going to, well, he is going to win it. Let's, yeah. let's, be, let's, be, let's be honest with each other. He's going to win, see he's gonna win the He would have to really mess up to not win it. Yeah. And it can happen. And yeah, it can it happen can. in Strongman. Yeah. I remember my la when I went to the Stones, I just thought to myself, okay, I need to just finish them. I don't care how fast they do. I just need to make sure I'm going smooth. Then I swear everything was just in such slow motion. Yeah. So I thought I was going slow. Yeah. But then it turned out I got the best time I ever. Amazing. Oh, God, so right. Out the stones about to begin. Good luck to the guys. Ready! That's a loop, come on! That's it, come on! Let's go!
With four stones and 20.63 seconds from Latvia, give it up for Ivar Svonsteri! And with five stones and a time of 28.55 seconds from the USA, let's hear it for Brian Shaw! Ready! Ten, let's Good. go, Bish. Good. There you go. Look at this. With four stones and 24.73 seconds, let's hear it for USA's Kevin Ferrer. With four stones and 24.3 seconds from Great Britain, Adam Fisher. Ready? Every stroke, so every stroke, but yeah, the motto, the the motto, the best, the best, no mistake, no mistake, that's why you look at I got it. Finals are over. Second place for Tom by one and a half points. Now, how, do you feel, how are you feeling, mate? You've got to feel absolute static for that. Yeah, I'm buzzing. I mean, if you said second place in this lineup, you know, with the group I was in and stuff, I'd have been over the moon. So yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm so happy he's not sunk in yet, you know, and it's going to be a, a very, very good night tonight. So. Good. Have you found home? Yeah, and they're buzzing. I mean, uh, Sinead's 
try, I try my dad's crying, you know, and I, I did oh, it for my mum and her. Oh, so awesome, it's good. Like, well, so. Tom, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, mate. You've done absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to see what you're going to do next year. Cheers, for you very much. Well done, Cheers, buddy. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. That stone run was absolutely amazing. Um, he even looked like he could have been even quicker. He kept his hands on the stone a little bit too long. Could have been another second quicker. So, uh, just phenomenal, you know. And it, uh, he had such a bad start at the final, tripping up. That may have cost him the title. You know, you don't know. Let me have a look at the points, actually. So, Novikov won it with 47. Tom was three and a half points behind in 43 and a half. If he hadn't tripped up on that first event, I reckon Tom would be Will's strongest man right now. It's these little mistakes that can cost you the title. So, it's, uh, it is what it is. Right, I'm going to get back on set and then we'll grab Novikov in a second. Yeah. Right, and with Novikov now the winner. Will Strongest Man 2020, how does it feel, buddy? It's unbelievable. I can't ex explain this. You know, it's uh, like dream and uh, or maybe like kids. It's, um, it's un unexpensive. Un unexpected. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Well, buddy, welcome to the club. Thank you. 24 years old, first title. I genuinely, and I genuinely believe this, I think you can go on and win five, six plus titles and beat Marius Podnoski's record. Do you think, it's good? you think you're going to do it? I hope and I will do all for this. What's your plan? Is that your plan to beat all five? Uh, first uh, of all, I want to rest. Yeah, I can imagine. I know and, how you and feel. And recovery all body. Awesome. Well, Novikov, man, absolutely amazing performance. You've astonished the world. 24 years of age, you've beat some amazing athletes here today. So, thank you. Massive well done, buddy. Thank you. Congratulations. Tile's now gone. Just one question: How does it feel now? No. Let's go for the Does it make you hungry? You want to come back and smash I want to come year? back. I want to come back so bad. I can't wait to compete again. It's tough to watch on it. It is, is tough. It is. I'm, I'm, this is a fake smile. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely though any emotion right. or are you just pretty cool you just it is what i'm it actually is. pretty cool like i am genuinely just uh excited to all my thoughts are racing about how i'm gonna get stronger than before that, that's all i'm thinking about well, good let's put the fire back in the yeah. belly get yeah. back to get back to work straight from here that's right good if man. i if i can't get stronger that's when i'll feel the sadness fair enough fair enough Thanks a lot, buddy. My pleasure. Right, well, that's a wrap. Novikov is the world's strongest man 2020. Tom Stoltman, second. Amazing performance. And Jeff Caron in third. Absolutely astonishing. I think that's the first Canadian on the podium ever, I think. 24 years of age. Only John Paul Sigmundson ever won the contest at that age. That's the youngest person ever to win it. Absolutely phenomenal. I genuinely believe that he can go on and win five plus world's strongest man titles. There's plenty of age left in Novikov. These guys don't usually peak until the mid thirties. So he's got loads of years and experience to gain. He's only going to get better and stronger. So I'm absolutely amazed with him right now. Amazed. There are some guys not here. So for anyone out there that thinking this is a flat contest, that all we're missing is Martin's Lissus. He's injured, we spoke to him. Half Orba Johnson's off training to get his head knocked off by myself. So there's other two people absent out of the whole field of the strongman right now. So I feel that is a well-deserved title. For anyone that says he doesn't deserve to win this today, bollocks, you know? He is the well-deserved title of 2020. So that's a wrap. We're gonna get um, more TV links done today and tomorrow and the day after, and then I'm gonna head home. And, um, and then I've got a quarantine for probably another two years. But um, I wanna thank you all for joining me. If you like the video, please hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time. Big love the beast. Thank <laughs> you.